another episode of the Cool Predictions Podcast, or Cool Interviews Podcast. I'm going to be interviewing today TJ Capers, linebacker from Miami, Florida, out of the 2024 class. He is currently a four-star and one of the top linebackers in the 2024 class. How are you doing today, TJ? What's good, my boy? Nice to be here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but first question uh, I got for you today is, what got you into football? Getting into football, uh, that was a family thing. It was just random my family growing up. So when I was old enough, they just put me in. I started playing. For sure. Um, and just starting right back from the beginning as well, um, what was it like to get that first offer for Ole Miss uh, for your family and everybody, like especially in yourself, just knowing that you're going to be able to play at the next level? Getting that first offer... When I got the call, I was I was home. So getting the first offer, that kind of that gave me some more confidence. It gave me like I'm I'm young in my recruiting, and being here right now, that gave me some confidence. For sure, I can only imagine. Um, and then the next step offer was from Miami, your hometown. Um, and how far away would you say you are from the from uh, the stadium from their stadium, like or their campus? Uh, the campus, I'm like 15 minutes away, but from the stadium, it's probably like 30, 40, 35. So you, so you grew up, like, quite a bit watching them, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I was watching them all through my childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, and what was that like just to get an offer from them? Getting it from there, that's like, that's like a, it was like a childhood dream because that's a team I watched, that's a team my family watched. So, you know, mm-hmm. from there, I just, I don't know, just felt like this is this, this going to be crazy. Do you have any connections on the team right now? I got a few boys that went to Columbus on the team and, like, some boys from Little League who are on the team. I got some got some cool friends there. I, got, I know a coach there. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, who was your favorite player growing up watching on Miami? There's a ton of greats. Uh, my favorite player from Miami got to be Trajan Bandy, man. Love watching Trajan. Mm-hmm. What, what made him stand out uh everybody else? Uh, Trajan Bandy's family is really close to my family. I play with his brother now. I, I'd be with him. I'd be with him most of the time. So watching him was just fun. Uh, but what schools have you uh, visited so far? Like, what schools have also shown like the most interest in you so far in your recruitment? Uh, a lot of schools have shown interest, but I've been to Miami and Florida. That's, I mean, I've only been to Miami and Florida, and I enjoy my time there. Mm-hmm. Boys, what what did you look for in that visit, or what do you what are you going to look for in visits that are just like the things that you are most um, looking for in schools that would make it a good fit for you? When I visit schools, I like to look out. I mean, I like to look at how the school is, how the vibe is. I like coaches' connections to players, and I like to look at players. That are similar to me, how they're doing at the school, how they fit in. For sure. Um, and next, um, now going coming out of your sophomore season, what are some things that you're training to improve on for next season or the summer? Going through the season, I'm trying to get stronger to get bodies off me. And I'm I'm working to get faster from point A to point B. For sure. What is your favorite part about playing your position linebacker? What's your what's your favorite part? Favorite part of playing linebackers, that's a little bit of everything in it. It's versatile and you just I just I just like I just have fun doing it. Yeah, especially. Um and then now uh are, are there any camps? I just said summer. Uh is there any camps you're looking forward to in the summer? Going I don't really got I don't have any specific camps. I don't have any information on specific camps right now, but I will be attending some. For sure. And I'll go on out of sports a little bit. Uh, I like to always do that in my interviews. Um, what are some things that you enjoy doing or hobbies outside of football? Outside of football, uh, I, I chill with my boys. You know, I go hoop sometimes, so AAU hoop. We just mm-hmm. play video games, just just find things to do, have fun. You play basketball as well? Yes, sir. What you uh, what what position you play in? In basketball, we play everything, bro. Every every position. You a baller? Of course, I'm a baller, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a basketball player too, so I know that is. Um, 
the next next question um what are from what are some of your favorite artists to listen to right now go to artists man um you know, Lil Dirk always, bro. But I always put on Lil Dirk. Uh, I, I like every Dirk song. Put on some Young Boy sometime, man. What's your favorite album by uh, Dirk and Young Boy? Uh, my favorite album by Dirk. Oh yeah, it's Voice of the Heroes with Dirk and Lil Baby, man. And my favorite Young Boy album is um, damn, I cannot think of the name. I think it's Slime Believe Two. I can't. I can't think of the name right now. But it might be Slime Believe Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then next question is, uh, if an outsider from m- came to Miami, like the city of Miami, uh, what would they have to like? Where would they have to go? Like the place, the main places that they have to go to get the full like Miami experience. Miami, uh, you might sit them to some beaches, send them to like some parks, get some football going around. Might sit <laughs> on the bay side, get some nice views, shop a little bit. Any any restaurants you gotta you gotta shout out? Uh restaurants, restaurants. I can maybe maybe send them maybe send them to the L I mean the L house, man. Let them taste some of the L house. That's a go to. What they got there. I mean they got everything, rubs, chicken tenders, fries, you feel me? Alright, alright. Real question is, what what do you dip your fries in though? What what do you dip your fries in? Barbecue, sometimes some honey mustard, you feel me? Hey, Maybe some ranch. Mustard, hey, I throw some good. ranch in there too. Honey mustard, that's a dub. Every time. Honey mustard, the best. The of course. Best. Always, a, always a valid choice. Absolutely. Um, And then next, last question before we get into football. There's only one right answer to this. What is your favorite cereal of all time? Oh, one right answer. I need to see what you're thinking about, man. Am I going to... Forever be cinnamon toast crunch, man. Thank you, dude. Yes, sir. That's the that's the that's the dawn right there, man. You can't Seriously. beat that. Now I gotta actually ask this now. Pineapple, pineapple on or off pizza? Oh, off, off, off. Ah, uh, dang. I, I can't put it on pizza. I can't put Why it on not, pizza, man. Why not? I can't. I don't know, man. I just be throwing off. It just be throwing it off for me. But I love pineapple. I just can't put it on pizza, though, man. I don't know, man. I don't like that, but now get into football. Uh, back into football. What are some of your goals coming into your junior season? Um, going into my junior season, I just gotta be. I gotta have a higher motor than last year. Last year, I looked at my film. I see plays on walking. I gotta have a higher motor. Mm-hmm. I just want to be. I want to be. I'm ranked three. I'm ranked the third nine linebacker in the nation. I want to make that one. I want to get my fifth star. You will. I, I got no doubt on that. You probably will. I'm working to it. For sure. Um, and going, you just said you watch like film on yourself. Now going to that, like, what are your, who are your favorite people to watch linebacker wise or overall like film wise? Like, who do you watch? Uh, like some, some players, like I was interviewing a basketball player one time. Uh, he said that he watches some people for different stuff. Like, who are your go to people to watch film on? Watching film, I mean, I watch some college, but in high school, I watch a little bit of Shamar Stewart, some Kenyatta Jackson. Man. Those, they, they, they do a good job of what I'm lacking, so you feel me? I got to see what they're working with. I know who Shamar is. Well, I, I don't know who he is, but I just, I've just heard his name. Um, so that's dope. Um, and the next, oh, yeah, I already see that. Um, but now, since college... In college, you can get sponsorships and all that. What is one company that you would want, like your only one, uh, your your top one that you would want to sponsor you? I probably say Adidas, man. I like everything Adidas make, gloves, cleats, all that. Man. I love Adidas, man. For sure, and it's it's more durable too. That's I was I had another interview today uh, with this guy. He said the exact same thing to that question. Um, so you guys are kind of a light too. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more durable. I think that's, that's my opinion on it. But, uh, the next question is if you could give one more athlete, if you could give any athlete one piece of advice, what would it be and why? To give advice, man, I tell an athlete to always be confident, always pick yourself over the next man and know your strengths and weaknesses. Know what, know what's good for you. Know your game, know what you're good at. You just, you're going to be successful. Mm-hmm, for sure. 
um, that's you, you got to know who you are, you know. Um, you just got to be confident as well because confidence, if you're not a confident person, it's not going to take you far. Uh, just believing in yourself is a huge thing too because if you don't have belief in confidence, uh, it's not gonna, that's not going to take you very far. Um, I have experience with that as well, so. Yeah, the mental part of it is is half of the game. If you got it mental, you only got to do fifty percent more. For sure, um, and that's that's a big thing. Like nobody really, really only like the good or great athletes really understand that, and that's what gives them the edges um, against their opponents. Usually, is just knowing that uh, the, there's a mental side of it too. It's not just physical. Um, so that's that's a huge thing as well, um, but. Now we'll get into the, like the end of this interview. Uh, do you have any people you want to shout out? Hey man, I'm shouting out you, man. Everyone need to go mess with you, man. You real, bro? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. That's much love, much love, man. Um, I'm I'm getting me and my boy Steez. Uh, Steez, he makes graphics and everything. So, I mean, we're just getting into this recruiting game. We're trying to start announce, start announcing uh, commitments on our own P. Uh, so hopefully we can make that a possibility someday but yeah i appreciate that much love to you man uh, of course else no, shout out? nah that's it man i shout out follow my instagram tj capers man sure, tj man. capers 11 TJ, tj capers 11 bro <laughs> tap in with it uh but yeah guys that is it for this episode of the cool predictions interviews podcast i gotta get used to saying that it's a new podcast uh but yeah go go mess with my boy tj capers on his instagram on his twitter whatever um and we'll see you guys in the next episode of the Cool Interviews Podcast. We out. Peace. Yes, sir, my boy.